What if I told you that arguably the greatest basketball player in UNC history has never dunked a basketball? Art Chansky is telling Phil Ford's improbable success story. Uh, this past December, I finished uh, a children's book. It's about my life up until my rookie year in college uh, called The Kid Who Couldn't Dunk. The book is intended to inspire children who might not be the most athletically gifted. And the reason that the book was written, Art approached me a couple years ago and I've never dunked a basketball. And with all the bullying and young kids thinking you have to be the smartest and the fastest and the prettiest, uh, you know, I had some success as a basketball player and I never dunked a basketball. To promote the book and spread the message, Ford also goes to schools and reads it to children. Young kids, for some reason, tend to get a kick out of it. I guess, you know, they're like everyone else. When I tell someone that I've never dunked a basketball that don't know me, you should see the look on their faces. And, you know, the young kids are the same way. You know, I was a pro player, I coached professionally, and I've never dunked a basketball. Ford hopes his story will ultimately serve as proof that athleticism isn't everything. I hope that when kids read this book and now, Everyone thinks you have to dunk, you know, to be a great basketball player. If you can't dunk, you know, if you aren't athletic, you know, you, you're not a good, you can't be a good basketball player, but I was blessed and had some success as a basketball player. From someone who couldn't jump the highest, Phil Ford's book could turn out to be a slam dunk. From Chapel Hill, I'm Brett Thompson reporting.